One thing that I've noticed recently is I just can't get enough light. There, I, I, need, I need something pretty much in every corner. And when a company comes up to me and asks me to review a, uh, a workshop light and a cordless, no doubt, workshop light, I just really can't say no. So today we're going to be opening up this cordless workshop light and we're actually going to see how well this works because there were a lot of uh, little options that this thing had and it says that it can get up to 2500 lumens. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. All right, so let's check out what we got here. Okay, looks like we have, uh, here's the actual light. Uh, it looks like we got some sort of carrying case. Oh wow, this is pretty nice. It's made out of some sort of vinyl. Kind of reminds me of something that you'd like, you put your pool cues in. And then it has a, a, like a carrying strap, a small user manual. See, oh, this is a quite quite a big box for uh, for the USB charging cable, and then also, uh, actually, this is a pretty hefty stand. This thing has some weight to it. Okay, so first, let's look at this stand here. And like I said, this stand is actually really nice. I'm surprised. This is uh, this is metal. This is definitely metal right here. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, it extends out. And I'm guessing I could just close this back up. Yeah. So it extends out, it extends out pretty far. That's pretty nice. There's a little uh, there's a button on the bottom that says push. And that pops out all the legs. So yeah, look at this. I mean, yeah, and this this stand is uh, this stand is actually really nice. There's no the only thing that's plastic on it are these little uh, well, the, like the tightening bolts right here. But it looks like everything else is either metal, and then there's a uh, there's like plastic feet at the bottom of the uh, of the legs. And then yeah, then it just snaps back into place. All right, that's pretty nice. Okay, the cord. Let's go ahead and get this out. Let's see how long this cord is. It is a, uh, a USB-C cord, and it looks to be, what, six feet? All right, now let's look at the light. One of the things that attracted me to this light is that you can either stand it on the tripod by just screwing it in like this, And now you have it, and now you have a full light on a tripod. But there's also a uh, hook. Let's see how easy it is. It's kind of hard to get out. There's also this hook right here, so you can hang it. So this would be perfect to hang like from the top of your tent or something like that. And then it also has three magnets, so you can actually stick it to like the hood of your car. Uh, or the you know the inside of your trunk or something like that, and it will stick. So we'll try that in a little bit also. Okay, some of the specifications about this light is, uh, like I said before, you charge it through a USB port, so it charges at five volts uh, and two amps. Uh, it has three settings when it comes to the brightness. Uh, the low setting you're going to get about 500 lumens. The, uh, the medium setting, you're going to get about 1,500 lumens, and when you have it on high, it's going to be 2,500 lumens. Um, when it comes to the uh, amount of time that those can be lit, on low, you can have it running for 20 hours, medium 10 hours, and on high, you can have this thing running for 5 hours continuous. Uh, when it comes to charging time, it takes about 5 hours to charge, and the expected lifetime of this work light is around 15,000 hours. Uh, the operating temperatures of this light, uh, you're going to want to run it uh, between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 122 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and the battery chemistry that this has, it's a lithium ion. It uh, is an 8,000 milliamp battery running at 3.7 volts. All right, also this, this light is actually very versatile. Um, it has three separate lights and they go from zero to 180 degrees and then they actually turn 270 degrees. So you can turn it 90 degrees this way or you can turn it a complete 180 so it, so it shines straight up and you can close it again so the lights are on the outside all of a sudden. So you can have one light facing up, you can have another, another light facing this direction and then a, another light facing this direction. So you could have, you know, you could have light filling a whole room with this work lamp. And then when you're not using it, it closes right back up to this small form factor. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights and we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna see how bright it is in this room right now. Because I have every light in my basement basically turned on. So we'll see what this brings. And here we go. All right. It has two different degrees of color. It has uh, 6,500 and 4,000. So let's go ahead and there we go. So that's a warm light. And then here is the, uh, the daytime or cool light. So we'll go ahead and put it on there. I believe this is low. Okay, I do notice that if you close it, the light is still, it's still on. It doesn't automatically shut off when these close. There we go. So you kind of have to quickly press it. Press it once for low, again for medium, and again for high. So this is high right here. And if, if I were just, I could just set this on the ground. And I mean, this, it lights up this whole room quite easily. Yeah, so this is how it looks just sitting on the ground. Now I have a hook up here, so let's go ahead and hang it from this hook. Now I must say the, uh, the hook, even though it, it does have a little spot so you can kind of put your finger in there, uh, it is not very easy. You can't really get it out with your finger. It's not very easy at all. I can put it on this hook right here and this lights up my workbench beautifully. It lights it up with absolutely no problem at all. I don't need any other light. I can see everything perfectly. And then let's go ahead and set up this stand. And I gotta say, I am, I am impressed with this stand. I mean, I was expecting something like made out of plastic that was gonna be less than a pound. I mean, this thing, it won't easily fall over. Okay, let's put this hook back in here. You can easily just screw it in. There we go. And then like I said, you could turn one light this way, one light this way, and one light this way. I mean, if you wanted to keep it like this, you could, you could easily light up you know, a whole area of what you wanna see. I mean, honestly, this could be like a, this could be a studio light. I mean, it's, look, just look how bright it is. That's ridiculous. It's almost, it's almost a little too bright. And then again, if you wanted to change the color, that's all you'd have to do. And it actually, this would be better for like, uh, if you're outside, I guess, but boy, I mean, it really, it really does light up everything. And let's, let's see it on the other settings. Here's, here's low. That's low right there. So even on low, which in a power out, in a power out situation, uh, I would probably want to leave it on low because you can get 20 hours of continuous light on low and and look how much light you get out of it. This I mean, it's crazy. This is this is the low setting right here. And this light is this light is uh, four feet away from me. And this is how much light I'm getting from on low setting. So let's try the medium setting. Here's the medium setting right here. Again, the lights about four feet away. 
and you can easily see everything around me. And then here is high. All right, here's the high setting. And in all honesty, um, this light is too close. <laughs> uh, again, it's four feet away, but it's so bright that it, it kind of gets to the point where it's blinding. So you would not want to be staring at this light you know, while you're working. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the rest of the lights. Yeah, and even, even with all my lights on, you could probably still tell when I actually turn this light off. Yeah, see, look at that. And then the nice thing about this light is that it can com compact down and it has its own carrying bag. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, I forgot one more way that you can mount this light. In this basement, it's perfect because I have all this duct work. And so if I ever need a light anywhere, I could just pop it right onto the ductwork and turn it on. So let's just say I want it right here. And there, now I have basically a bright chandelier anywhere I want one. I could put it here, I could put it over here, like this, I could put it on the side. Yeah, I mean, I've even got it on the I've got it on the side of my ductwork, right there. So, I mean, those magnets are strong enough to keep it angled at any direction through magnetism. On the, bat, on, the, on the light itself, there is a battery indicator. So four blue lights means that the battery is fully charged um, and it will go down in 25% increments. Um, and then when you plug it in, and then the lights will flash, letting you know how much uh, battery it has and that it's charging. And once it's done charging, I believe the lights will just stay solid blue like that again. And just so you know, here are the, the two buttons. Here's the power button. Press it on for low. And then quickly press it to get to medium and high. And then press it again for off. Um, and then the other button is the color. So if you want daytime light or if you want warm light. And you can see that it switches between the two LEDs. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, put this thing in its carrying case. So you just turn these over. And they all have like these little plastic little, little push buttons right here. So they clip right in. So everything, everything is nice and tight. Like it's not, they don't just flop around. Okay, the, the stand. The stand, yeah, the stand clips all back into place. So again, these don't, these legs don't flop around at all. Let's go ahead and loosen this up. Reduce it down to its smallest size. And it looks like you can put the tripod there, the light. I mean, it looks like you could actually have the light. You can actually have the light on the tripod and put it in the carrying case. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Put this whole thing in there. Go ahead and take your charging cable, just set it in there. And there you go. I mean, it's a perfect little little uh, carrying case and uh, I mean I mean there's nothing there's nothing fancy about it but it sure does the job just fine for carrying this this work light makes it quite easy all right and let's see what this thing does when you charge it just plug it right into a USB charger plugged in and you can see now it shows that it's charging and this battery is probably almost full so that's why that last light is blinking so once it's done charging all the lights will stay solid okay so what are my final thoughts of this cordless work light um you know what this thing surpasses all my expectations i really thought it was going to be uh i don't know kind of cheap but you know, for the price that you're paying, you're getting what you're paying for. This thing is super bright, even on the low settings. Um, I love how it is uh, cordless, 
USB chargeable, so it's easy to charge back up. Uh, it takes five hours to charge, but you can use it for five hours on high. I mean, you can use this thing for 20 hours on low. And on the low setting, this, bright, this light is pretty bright. I mean, that's, on, that's low right there. I love the fact that these, these little individual lights, they, all, they angle all different directions that you would ever need. The fact that it has three different ways of being able to place it in different spots. I mean, the magnet connected, it, it, it hooked right up to all of the ductwork in my basement, so I can, I can literally put this light anywhere. Also, this tripod is no joke. It's solid metal, except for the little uh, tighteners. And it extends out to what, five feet, something like that. And I mean, it's it's pretty heavy. I was I wasn't expecting it to be heavy at all, and it's it's got some weight behind it. And then the third option is this hook, which is just a bonus. Granted, it's really hard to get out of there. Like you, I had to use a screwdriver to get it out, but it's there. And so if you have a place to hook it to, like I mean, like the top of your tent. Or, I mean, if you have a hook like inside your car, if you don't have the magnetic spot very well, that hook can definitely come in handy. I mean, it definitely came in handy when, for this hook right here on my ceiling. So I must say that this light, for anybody who wants to get one, I would, I would definitely recommend it. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna be trying it out for, for weeks now. This thing is going to be basically uh, my light source for the next oncoming videos that I do. Uh, that way I can test out this light and I can let people know in the comments just how well it works. But I really do expect this thing uh, to do a great job. The only thing that I can't be sure of right now is, uh, is the actual battery life, is, is the light source amount of time. I mean, am I, am I actually gonna get 20 hours of low light in this? because uh, I'm not going to be doing it on low. I'll probably be using high because I want to try to, I really want to try to see how much time I can get out of this light. If you guys have any questions about this light at all, um, I'll have a link in the description. Also, please leave any questions in the comments. I will try to answer them as best as I can. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.